Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and to the first episode of the Serial Diaries. My name is Jordan and today we're going to be talking about the steps that I've taken to create a magic system from scratch for the serial that I'm plotting. Hopefully you'll be able to apply these steps to help refine or create your own magic system. So let's dive in. The first step I would say in creating any magic system is deciding on whether your system will be hard or soft. For me personally, I compiled a list of magic systems that I liked and realized that I prefer harder magic systems. So what is a hard magic system? The term was coined by Brandon Sanderson, a successful fantasy author known primarily for his Mistborn series. He's done extensive talks on world building and work on defining magic systems. Basically, magic systems fall on a scale between hard and soft. With soft magic, we know very little about the rules and laws of magic, and it's generally used as a way to create conflict and a sense of wonder in the story. With soft magic, the protagonist cannot do magic, and instead they're often brought into the world of magic, where magic happens to and around them. Hard magic, on the other hand, has clearly defined rules. These rules cannot be bent or broken if it is to remain hard, and this allows the author to solve conflict with magic. Because we know what magic can and cannot do, it doesn't feel like a gimmick to find solutions to the character's problems with it. Instead, they're using it like a tool. This also means that your protagonist can be a magic user because they can learn the rules or already understand how magic is used. Hard and soft magic is a scale, it's not absolute, and therefore systems of magic can also fall somewhere in between. Harry Potter is a good example of this, because we understand some of the rules of magic, especially those used by the protagonist, but we also get a sense of greater magic existing in the world. New laws and rules are introduced as the books progressed, and often it serves to resolve or create conflict later, but it also feels justified because the kids are learning these rules, spells, etc. at school, and they they rarely contradict what we already know is possible with magic. Okay, so now that we've defined hard and soft magic, how do you figure out what is best for your story? Well, my first step was to just get any and all of my ideas for what my magic system could be out. I did this by writing it all down on sticky notes and putting this up on the wall. This exercise works really well for me because I'm able to see everything really easily and move things around or remove them entirely. If you have lots of ideas like I did but nothing solid that you're committed to, I think this could work well for you. I had a lot of ideas of what my magic system could be and what I wanted to explore with it, so I had to whittle it down and simplify. That being said, because I am writing a serial, I'm giving myself a little bit of freedom to create a magic system that's a little bit bigger and more complex than I would try to approach with a regular book or series because in this case I'll have the time to explore it thoroughly. So now I had my ideas, but I still had a problem. There was no connective tissue between my ideas so that they could all fit into a singular magic system. I think that this was the hardest thing for me to figure out, but what really helped me were a few blog posts. I'll link a ton of resources in the description box down below, including these blog posts, so that you guys can check those out after you're done this video. One in particular helped me out a lot, and it's on creating rational magic systems by the blog Myth Creants. It basically expands on the ideas presented in the theory about hard and soft magic, as well as notes some key differences in the two theories. It also breaks down the steps of what is required to make a rational magic system, and it does so by posing these questions to you. The first question is what is the source of magic. The second is how is it accessed and directed. And the third is what are the constraints of the system. It also has a couple sections about adding variety and special abilities to your systems. By answering these questions, I was finally able to break through some of the issues that I was having connecting my ideas, and I think that it also helped me to simplify and get to the core of what my magic system was about and what I wanted to say with it. I think these questions are absolutely absolutely imperative to know if you are creating a hard magic system and are useful to consider if you're creating a soft magic system. So now I finally had the connective tissue required to gel my system into something cohesive, but I still had a lot to figure out. That is where this notebook comes into play. I love notebooks and handwriting is such an important part of my process in developing my ideas, but if typing is your jam, then you do you. 
whatever works, man. For me, notebooks are key because somehow writing things by hand helps me get out all that's going on up here onto a page. So in this, I took the ideas of what I had on the sticky notes and then added the connective tissue, which is basically a set of universal laws and truths about the magic in my world. And then I started compiling it into the kind of Bible of my magic system. I knew the macro, but it was time to start getting into the nitty gritty. So this part is gonna be extremely specific to each system. So I can't get too in depth in how exactly to accomplish, you know, making your magic system more whole and really sorting out the details, but I can give you a list of things to think about when you're doing this step. Now this will be different if you're doing a soft magic system for your story and you may just want to skip this step entirely. The joy of creating a soft magic system is that it's very responsive to your story and can influence it in mysterious and magical ways. This means that you might actually just want to start writing and have the magic system respond to the plot and characters and create conflict. That being said, I went to some videos and blog posts and articles about soft magic systems that I think you should watch and consider before creating a soft magic system. This also applies to irrational magic systems and I've linked resources for that down below as well. So here are a few things that I think that you should think about when you're getting into the meat of your magic system. Number one is who can do magic and why. Number two is how does this affect the other people and your world. Number three is what are the universal truths about your system. Number four is are there specific rules that only pertain to some magic users? What are they and why? And number five is can magic be improved and grown upon by a user? If so, what are the steps to learn more and what is the absolute limit to one's power? Now, there are probably a ton of things that I didn't list that you should consider when creating your magic system, especially if it's a hard magic system and a rational one. These are just key for me in developing my own. If you guys have anything that you consider important when developing a magic system or things to keep in mind, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'm always trying to improve and learn and I think that other people will probably find it useful. So this is kind of how I've gotten to where I am which is a magic system with strong bones and quite a bit of meat. That being said, this will continue to grow, change, and develop as I develop my characters, my world, and my plot. I think that magic should be tightly integrated into the story, so it will have some superficial kind of changes as I do develop those to fit in and integrate with all of the different elements. So that's it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I had a ton of fun making it. This is honestly such an exciting series for me because it really pushes me to think about all the choices that I'm making as I develop this series. And I know that you guys have been curious about my writing process and how I am developing a series or a book and all of that jazz, so this is just something that I'm super excited to make. If you did like this video, please don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would also love to hear your thoughts on magic systems. What are some of your favorite magic systems and why? How have you guys developed a magic system for your own story? And lastly, if you guys disagree with anything that I said in this video, I'd love to hear about it. But that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you next time.